It's almost six in the morning in Lexington, Kentucky. The pilots of Com Air Flight 5191 prepare for their pre-flight briefing. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to take this time to welcome you on board Com Air Flight 5191 direct to Atlanta. We'll try to keep it as quiet as possible. Hopefully you can catch a nap on the way there. It's our pleasure having you on board today. There are 47 passengers and one flight attendant on today's flight. The pilots begin their briefing. Right flex takeoff procedures off of, he said what runway? 24? It's 22. Today they are bound for Atlanta, Georgia. Just a 67 minute flight straight south from Lexington's Bluegrass Airport. Lexington's air traffic controller clears flight 5191 to the runway. At your leisure, Com Air 121. Ready to go. Com Air 191. Lexington Tower. Fly runway heading. Clear for takeoff. Ugh. All yours, Jim. Captain Clay hands control of the aircraft to First Officer Polhenke for takeoff. My brakes, my controls. Set thrust, please. Thrust set. That is weird with no lights. Yeah. Under knots. Checks. Something's not right. V1. Rotate. As 5191 prepares to lift off. Whoa. Damn it. Air Flight 5191 hurtles into a field less than half a mile from the runway. This is Lexington, Alert 3, west side of the runway with a Com Air regional jet taking off. Forty-nine people are dead after the tragic takeoff of Com Air Flight 5191. First Officer Polhenke is the only survivor. The question NTSB investigators now need to answer is why Com Air Flight 5191 couldn't get off the ground.